Dear Bodu Ba. Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I have a very special guest with me. Yes, I live with him and he is stunning and he does my head in sometimes but I love him so much. It is my boyfriend, Philly Willy, and I am going to be doing his makeup. Yes, that's happening and he's going to look absolutely stunning. <laughs> Go. Aren't you saying something first? Yes. Philip. Hello. Shut up, it's my video. <laughs> oh, I live with Phil and um, we are driving each other mad right now because we're both in quarantine, but we love each other very much, don't we? Yes, we do. You are going to be turned <laughs> into a Mr. Birch. That's Ooh. happening. And I was going to do you like mint green, but because of the green the screen, green, yeah. you'll literally just be a pair of sunglasses floating. So we okay. can't do mint green. So I'm going to do like a stunning Pepto-Bismol pink. So... Firstly, I'm going to apply... Wait, have you got moisturiser on? No. Okay, I don't have but can I put a bit of this on? It's not going to make me break out, is it? No, it'll be fine. Okay. Okay, right. This, I'm going to put a little bit of this Nivea soft stuff on Phil. <laughs> I'm knocking everything over now. Right. No, drink over. Okay, moisturiser or roll on the gloves. And right. Put a little bit <laughs> on go. Just to get them all nice and loose. They're good applicators. Oh, absolutely stunning. Oh, yes. getting them pores, clog them up good. Moisturiser doesn't clog pores, does it? Don't really know. Okay, well be quiet. Shush. Right, so his face is nice and red and moisturised now. Let me get that off my gloves. Wait, let me wipe it on my pinny. So usually I use um, Revolution Pigment Pot mixed with white Krylon to make a foundation. But that is good for like keeping it on, for like stage and stuff like that. But I'm only doing it for camera today. So I'm going to use this flash palette. It's like a fake flash palette. Look at the state of it. Is that grease paint? Yes. Okay. Are you ready for an eye infection? Uh, yeah. Yes. Ready as a letter B. Okay. Conjunctivitis, here I come. Yes, you're going to look absolutely gorgeous. That's so pink though, isn't it? So I'm going to go into this pink, and I really like this pink because it's like bu bluey, bubblegummy pink, isn't it? It's very nice. I'm not very... putting it on yet and mixing it in the tinfoil. So stop getting excited. <laughs> I just want to put it on. <laughs> okay. I'm forcing Phil again. Oh wait, no, I've forgotten something. You cannot have your makeup done without this. You have to wear the makeup robe. Okay. So you have to put this on and look absolutely gorgeous. Put that on. The makeup robe. Yes. Is this what you wear? Yes, it's the makeup robe. I'm sure I've never seen you wear this before, but okay. I wear that all the time, <laughs> what are you on about? Okay, now Phil has his very stunning robe on. He needs this on to do his makeup because it makes it very stunning. Apparently, yeah. Um, so I've mixed this pink in with, I'm going to use, I'm going to like chip off some of this. So what, what this is what I do, I haven't got much of this left, so I don't know what I'm going to do really, but I, I usually chip it off like You'll this. You'll improvise, it's fine. Yes, I always do, and it's very gorgeous. <laughs> That's probably enough. And then I'm going to put it on here. I use tin foil. Can you stop laughing, please? <laughs> this is a very serious situation. So I put the makeup on the tin foil like this, and the reason I do this is because I can throw it away when I've finished. And also, the warmth of your hands helps the makeup blend together better and quicker. <laughs> if it's cold outside, then, you know, it's gonna be hard. So you need to get it nice and warm, and you need to get it mixing very nicely. Neil Buchanan. Do you remember Neil Buchanan? No, who's that? From Heart Attack. Oh my God, is that the one that died? He didn't die. He didn't die. <laughs> Who died? I think that was a hoax. I think they hoaxed it. Oh, there's, there's like an internet hoax that he died. Oh no, I've got this on my finger. on your glove. Okay, this is where my gloves start to get very messy. This is too dark. So I'm going to add a bit more of this because it's too dark. There's none left. I know. This is the problem. This is my last Krylon White TV paint stick and I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. I am very scared. We are ready. Phil's oh, face is about ready. to get splatted with Pepto-Bismol. Right, come hither. Just smear this on. Absolutely stunning. It feels nice. Please don't poke me in the eye because I don't. I do not want to get an eye infection. <laughs> okay, that yeah. is looking absolutely stunning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to because he's going to be Mr. Birch. I'm not putting like a long wig on him or oh, anything yeah, like that. I'm going to put like a a nice. I'm going to paint hair on him. I think I've never done it before, but it should look very nice. So I'm going to paint up here a little bit because I want to have, you know, like that split parting that you have. I shaved my head today, especially for the occasion, so. I forced him to shave his head. <laughs> I think just the whole being in isolation right now, you can't really go for a haircut, can you? No, and it's lucky you have me, because I'm a very good hairdresser. Yes, I am. I know you wouldn't think it, but the state of my hair right now, but um, I'm a very good hairdresser, aren't I? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to paint inside the little bits of the beard here. 
inside a little bit. Which you see on camera. So this isn't the first time you've painted me though, is it? No, I've painted Phil before. Mm. Phil has been um, very stunning and very gorgeous before. Mm -hmm. um, a few times at like, parties and things like that. The first time you painted me though, it wasn't... What, 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 what I was think the first, the first time that you painted me is when you made me look like the safari guy from Jim Hanji. Oh my goodness <laughs> me. Right, I need to find a photo of that to show you because that was absolutely hilarious. It was back when we lived with that my was... dad, and you went downstairs into the kitchen, didn't you? I nearly got my dad. Heart. <laughs> my dad was like painting every second of it. <laughs> you wouldn't talk to me. Absolutely gorgeous. So I think I've got the majority of that on. I've washed this in water to make it nice it and moist? spongy and moist, moist and absolutely stunning. Just stop saying moist. Just test that on my glove first, and then I'm going to blend all this out. Mm. I've never actually done a video with two people in before, so I don't know how this is going to look on camera. Pat all that over, very <laughs> nice. Right, come closer. Right, let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, mate. That is absolutely stunning. How yes. stunning. Very stunning. Very stunning. So it doesn't matter if I go over the beard a little bit, because like, I'm going to put some like black paint along his beard to make it like proper stand out and look very gorgeous. So it doesn't matter if you get paint on the beard. I'm fine with that. Right, also the ears. Do not forget the ears. That is very important. Right, so we need to get in this ear, in his ear like this. Very nice. So it's very hard to wash off. Very stunning. I hope you have makeup wipes. I don't actually have any makeup <laughs> no. wipes. So um, you're going to have to get in the shower and scrub this off, darling. Uh. It might look a little bit dark, but this Ben Nye Super White is going to save the day. Yes, Tricks and Mattel, it is for clowns. <laughs> and we are clowns. And we are stunning clowns. Uh, so we're going to tip a little bit of this onto the table like this. Very gorgeous. Got to be careful about my asthma so I don't breathe. Yeah, well. just in through the nose, out through the mouth. That's not good advice for an asthmatic, <laughs> Philly. Okay, yes. right. I'm going to pat a little bit of this Ben Nye Super White powder. Pat this all over. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't scrunch your face up. It like went up that. my nose. Stop it. Don't scrunch your face up when you're putting powder on because it makes little lines in your foundation. Do not do that. Phil is enjoying this very thoroughly. Also, when you wear pastel skin tones like this as foundation, it makes your teeth look very yellow. Let's show us show the camera the teeth. Do I have to? Yes. If you've seen in my previous videos where I've done orange skin, it's made my teeth look very white and very gorgeous. So I do have yellow teeth, but that's only because my skin is blue. Yes, that's happening. <gasps> and just buff it all out. It's very gorgeous. We've had to squish onto the camera, haven't we? It's very cozy. You're cozy. Are yeah, you comfortable? I'm comfortable. Oh, that's though. nice. That's Are you great. comfortable? Yes, I am. Very comfortable. Are you relaxed? Yes, I'm having a lovely Are you time. A drink. Yes, having a lovely bit of Red Bull. Cheers, Queen. The next step is going to be the the, the contouring because he's going to be a pinkish colour. I'm going to use pinks. I use quite a lot because it's nice, nice and bubblegummy. This palette is a very cheap palette that I got from Home. Well, you can tell you use that one a lot. <laughs> yes, I do. It's my favourite. But what's it called? Home. Home bargains. <laughs> <laughs> No! Home, home and Beauty. Home and Beauty. No, it's not Home and Beauty. What is it called in the Arndale Centre? Body, body Care. Body Care. Body Care. I got this from Body Care in the Arndale Centre. It's very, very cheap. Home bargains. But, <laughs> right, you need to be quiet immediately. Okay, right. I'm going to use this pink to contour his beautiful face. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me. I wonder what our neighbours are thinking. So, plonk that on very nicely. Plonk it on. Go from the temples as well. I am blending his temple very nicely. And the other temple, very nice. Temple is the word of the day, isn't it? Temple. Do that on the end of the nose. Phil has a gorgeous bridge on his nose. He looks absolutely stunning. He has a very gorgeous nose. So we want to highlight that and we want to exaggerate that beauty. He's currently flaring his nostrils. Stop it. Let me have a little sip of my, who is texting me? Lydia Lascabies. What is she saying? If Mr. Bean doesn't win, I'll go into orbit. He doesn't win. Well, he doesn't win. Sorry. Spoiler alert, Lydia Lascave Mr. Bean did not win the Sims 4 Big Brother Challenge. That does not happen. Right, I also go, oh! Alexa Stone kindly sent me one of her gorgeous palettes. So I'm going to use some other pink in this because it's very fluorescent and very gorgeous. So I'm gonna cover the whole eye in pink. Do you trust me? Yes. Right, I'm going to make the bridge of your nose a bit darker as well. Right, we're currently blending all the, all the powders in very nicely, yes. Next, what we are going to do is, we are going to darken Phil's hairs so they look nice and defined and um, gorgeous. So we are currently blackening the hair, right, we are currently doing this, it's very nice. Phil is a musician. 
and he's very, very talented, aren't you? He's very modest, but he's very good, and he, he, he does like very nice folky music, don't you? Yes. It's very nice. If you want to check out Phil's music, you can go on his Instagram and check out his music, because he's very talented, aren't you? Mm-hmm, yes, I guess. Yes, you are. And I love your music, you are very beautiful and gorgeous, right? So now we're going to darken these sideburns. Oh, I am loving this. Draw his hairline on very gorgeously like this. It's going to swoop back down and then come back in like this. Because receding hairlines are hot They're and so happening. I want to swoop out like this and go back in. Oh, yes. It's absolutely stunning. As you can see, I have painted Phil's hair on and his beard, darkened his beard and made it look very stunning. I've also given him a little part in up here. But I, I cannot be arsed painting the back of his head. So, I, it, the back of his head is bald, as you can see. Don't look, stop it. The next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to do his eyebrows. Okay, so turn this way. We're going on with the other brow now. Okay, very gorgeous. Let's have a look at you. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Right, so what we're doing now is, we're wrecking this even more, and we're putting the brush in it. And if you can't, just use the end of this. I'm a very messy painter. Go. Just take a deep breath and shut up. I'm still. All under that eyebrow like this. Very nice. I'm going to put my finger, this finger, and then we're just going to blend this out. Now, if it's got too much on it, just wipe it like this. Hmm. So now I've had my been resting my hand on Phil's head. It's covered in black grease paint, so I need to be very careful about where I put this hand now. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting this this brush, and we're going to be getting the cult the cult candy cosmetics heavenly urchins palette again, and they have a lovely white in there. So I'm going to use this white, and I'm going to use this to matte Phil's eyelids. So close your eyes now, because I've used grease paint on his eyebrows it's most likely that it's going to fall into the eyelids, but you're not going to be wearing it long for you. No. I'm going to take the same brush again. Yes, I know I use the same brushes a lot, but I don't have any brushes, so I'm using the same brush again, and I am getting this Sugar Pill eyeshadow palette. It has a lovely gorgeous pink in it. Um, Shrinkle kindly sent this to me. She's very, very stunning and very gorgeous, and I love her. Okay, tap that on here. Welcome back to my <laughs> channel. You've never cut my crease before. Okay, come very close to me. There we go, looking absolutely stunning. We've been together for four years now, and we've had a lot of adventures, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And we are missing having adventures. We were going to go to America this year again, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we were. But Bye. unfortunately, Miss Corona got in the way. I don't think that's going to happen now. No. So, um, right, we're having a lovely time at home, and we we're are, going to do makeup instead. We are making the most of it, though. What do you mean? Sorry. I sometimes use, okay, right, we're going to use this. It's a lovely Jeffree Star lipstick, and it's called, what's it called, Phil? I can't see, what's it called? Queen Supreme. Queen Supreme. We're going to use Queen Supreme to do some lovely freckles on Phil's face. Yes. So we're going to dip that in there like that. Dot those freckles. Usually I would use my finger to, like, tap the... The, the freckle and pat it all over the face, but I obviously don't <laughs> want to be doing that right now. But I'm going to use this to highlight his lips. Pouch your lips a little bit, yes. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. Oh, you're so pretty. You're going to be set sprayed, are you ready? I'm ready. Pop Beauty Makeup Magnetic Mist. and then get a palette, any pa palette. I prefer the Sugar Pill palette and use that as a fan. Mm. Okay, that's looking very good. The finishing touch is going to make him look like Mr. Birch. Yes, it is. -na -na. Are they on? <sighs> oh, wow. Let me, wow. Let, me, let, me, let me see, wait. There he is. Hey. Mr. Birch has arrived. Yay, he's here. And we're going to make fabulous little babies, aren't we? Yes. Little alien babies. Little alien babies, and they're going to be absolutely Oh, stunning. my babies. Oh, what? Oh, oh I'm taking the dog, dumbass. <laughs> the back of my head isn't painted, but that doesn't matter because Stop you're not supposed it. to see oh, that. Oh, feel the fantasy. Feel the fantasy. <laughs> feel the stunningness. <sighs> oh, what? So Phil has his stunning outfit on, and he has just done something very naughty, so I'm very cross at him. He has just put on the cow apron and smudged the back grease paint all over his face. We forgot to put the highlights on Phil's face. Mr. Birch's face, sorry. And the finishing touch was the acrylic paint that goes on the face and shows lovely highlights. It's very gorgeous. So we're going to add those on, aren't we, Philly? Mm -hmm, yeah, it's a very important part okay. to the Birch routine. Yes, it is. Very important. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dip this in here. 
like that's very nice. Okay, so the bigger dot you do on your nose, the bigger the, the bulb at the end of your nose looks. Mm. So we're going to give you quite a big bulb, I think. So, yeah. so come here. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Now we're going to highlight those gorgeous cheekbones. Are you ready? So we're going to do a lovely bit here. Absolutely stunning. And I use heavy body acrylic paint because it's easy to peel off at the end of the day. Okay, I've just thought we need a bit more highlight on forehead because I want his forehead to look really shiny and plastic like a, a ventriloquist doll. We want him to look like a ventriloquist doll. I'm going to try and cover up that stupid smudge that he did before. So this is the finished Mr. Birch. How are you feeling, Phil? I feel absolutely stunning. Yes. Absolutely iconic. Yes. Um, and yeah, just all round. Very gorgeous. Stunner. Yes. Right. Okay. We're going to have a little party in our house now. Yes, yes, we are. We're going to have a little celebration. Like watch RuPaul's Drag Race or something like that. Yeah. So, my friends, that is the finished look. He looks so gorgeous, doesn't he? Yes, he is beautiful. Um, I hope you had fun watching me make an absolute mess, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye! Bye.